have the hand-eye coordination to hit, but he showed us enough in BP where we can pair him. You know, the balls that you guys were hitting today, we're comparing to guys that hit our batting practice. So we want to see what you can do and how close that you get to them, you know, to evaluate, oh, that guy's got just as much juice as so-and-so, and he's a year younger, you know. So it gives us a kind of a track record of where you are, but it also gives us an idea of the skills that you do have. But at the end of the day, you got to transfer him into the game. And you can have all the athletic ability in the world, but if you don't have that hit gene, you know, it's going to be tough to get off the bench unless you want to go out there and pitch run. You know, and that's not what we want. We want guys that can do all the things and be able to hit. Okay? Pitching-wise, we want to see guys throw strikes, obviously. We want to see guys competing and getting in there in the zone. And for the most part, you guys did that, uh, which was good to see, too. So um, we're going to talk to you guys and your parents about the recruiting side, kind of, and get a little deeper if they have questions. If you guys have questions, don't be afraid to ask them. The one thing I'll tell you and I'll tell them is the thing you have to remember is our recruiting as far as scholarship is based is based on our needs. It's not your wants, it's our needs. Okay, which is the hardest thing for guys to understand. And I didn't understand it when I was a player, but once I got on the coach's side, I get it, okay? And that is, if you're a catcher and we have an outstanding catcher that's a freshman for us, and you really want to come here, well, we may have all our money invested in our catching position because when we break down our scholarships, which we get nine at Division II, that's the maximum you can get. We happen to have it, which is great. You get nine scholarships, usually as a coaching staff, we sit down and break down those scholarships per position. Okay, we're gonna spend this much on a catcher, we're gonna spend this much on a shortstop, we're gonna spend this much on a left-handed hitting power first baseman, we're gonna spend this much on a, a closer, spend this much on a guy that we think we can start for, and so on and so forth, and kind of go down the line. Now, those numbers mix around a little bit and they sprinkle different ways sometimes. And if you're a catcher who can play third base or you're a catcher who can run around the outfield and maybe a guy who can DH for us because he can really hit and catch, then you know, we move this money pile here to the other pile and some guys get a great academic package here at private school. Um, so there's a lot of ways to manipulate our money, but understand it is a limited amount that we can spend. So, and then the bottom line is if we have a great shortstop that's a young guy for us and you really want to come to school here, or you really want to go to another school that you think you can play at, well, they may already have a guy in line that they don't need to fulfill. You know, they don't have a need. You have that want, but they don't have that need. So that's a lot of times the hardest part to understand. And, um, however, what I can tell you is the great thing about our level and Division Three level is that we don't have roster limitations. D1s right now are a little clouded because of COVID, but they're starting to get restricted back up come this uh, January. So um, once next January work rolls around, they're going to be back to their 36 limit that they had before COVID hit. And once they're there, everything else will kind of trickle down to us in Division Three. Okay, uh, but right now some rosters in Division One have over 50 players on them. So they're going to cut a lot of guys in the springtime. So then all those guys are going to start trickling down to other D1s. Other D1s will kick it to us, you know. So it's just a it's a really tough time right now um, to predict where recruiting is going. So we're kind of just sitting here, kind of picking up the pieces, watching how the whole thing kind of the you know the, how the the whole thing kind of comes down on us. And as it trickles down, we're here to kind of pick up the pieces and see what happens. So um, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them while we're in.